When Cody is living her very, very best life, I believe that not only she, but her entire community will be stronger as a result. Living her very best life means that she is um, having meaningful community connections with the people that love her, that know her, that accept her, that acknowledge her differences, but don't make those the most important part of their interaction. I believe when she's living her best life that she is nurtured to um, express herself and contribute um, her voice, that her voice will be well heard and understood, that people will understand that not all communication comes by the form of speech, that communication is very expressive in the way that we, we, um, we um, use different forms of languages, whether those are sounds, whether those are um, loud shouts, whether those things are, you know, just a big smile, whether it's a nod or a turn of the head, whether it's arms raised as Cody, Cody praises her God. Whatever that is, that's part of Cody living her best life. And it's being with people that understand her and don't minimize or marginalize the fact that she has a voice to contribute. I believe when she's living her best life that she's going to have friends that she cares for deeply, that's empathetic to her and she to them, that she will know that um, she is open and available and present for them. I believe when she's living her best life that she will look her best, that she will not leave her home without her hair well groomed and her teeth brushed and a smile on her face and smelling beautiful just as all of us would want to be. We wouldn't, when she's living her best life, she won't um, go out in equipment that provides her mobility that looks like nobody cares for it. When she's living her best life, she will be in community where people are happy to approach her. And if she chooses to communicate in what society may think to be unacceptable, predominantly the people that are the closest to her, that she will feel comfortable and confident that it's okay and they will know how to redirect some of that communication. When she's living her best life, she will know that she has meaningful roles, valid social roles within her community. Those roles would be things that she could do, as I said earlier, whether it's a greeter, whether it's a prayer warrior, whether it's contributing in a senior's home, whether it's being part of a community kitchen, whether it's being a party planner, a karaoke star, you know, an adventurous person that she is, she's living her best life. When she's living her best life, she's spending time with her grandparents and her aunts and her uncles and her cousins and her sister and her nieces and nephews and the people that, that she is being um, isolated from continually. People that she knows from her past in her primary grades, in her high school, her school in Brantford, people that she's come in contact with in church. She'll be living her best life when they are part of her life and she knows she belongs in that community. I believe Cody will be living her best life when people accept her for who she is and not what they expect of their expectations. <laughs> who she's supposed to be. So when Cody is living her best life, she will be happy, full of joy, and eager to greet every day.